What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So yeah, I got my little my little friend here because we were talking about somebody that if I'm being honest, I didn't know anything about until my kids kept talking about him. Who is he? He is. Normally I don't make short videos like this. Mr. Beast. Beast. Mr. Beast, can you say Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast. So I didn't know who this guy was. Finally watched a few of, it, few of his videos and realized, okay, I mean, he's a good dude. Like he's giving away all this money. I uh, saw that you needed some help, so I just wanted to give you this. He's doing these fun challenges and he's got, you know, just a few hundred YouTube subscribers. Mm -hmm. Mr. Beast, so one of my commenters said, Jeff, you need to do a CFP analysis, a certified financial planner analysis on this recent video where this guy won a million dollars and he's got to spend it in 24 hours. Like what a, that's a good problem to have. And I responded to this comment and said, yes, you are right. What a great recommendation because I do read my comments, believe it or not. And I responded because I'm a good daddy, right? Yeah. My good YouTuber. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. You could get this way. You could this guy. See you tomorrow. So if you didn't hear that, it was click to subscribe. You hear that? I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, come on, she's promoting the channel. Listen to my daughter, I'm pleading. Subscribe if you haven't. But what you are going to witness is a millionaire, a certified financial planner reacting to Mr. Beast's 24 hour million dollar spending challenge. Um, unfortunately, she's not gonna be helping out on that part of it, but I'm gracious that she was for this part. So can you say hey, thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Ring that notification bell is what she said, people. All right, y'all, let's find out what I have to say about this million dollar Mr. Beast challenge right now. Okay, I have to admit, my, my daughter's cuteness just totally gave me a, a brain fart in me giving the hook for you to stick till the end. So actually at the end of this video, I'm going to share a similar event that I had with this winner, I actually had a very similar event where I've got a big chunk of money and I think you're gonna be quite surprised in what I did. So we're gonna share that at the end. So stay tuned because you want to know. Trust me, you want to know. All right, here's my reaction to Mr. Beast. Ash keeps it. Mark is the winner of the million dollar challenge. Get it, Mark. I know who you are, man, but today's your day. All right, so you now have 24 hours to spend the one million dollars. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. I, I can't even imagine trying to spend that amount in one day. I also find it interesting. It looks like he's at Best Buy. Like if I had a million dollars that I had to spend in a day, I don't think I'd be starting it in Best Buy. I don't know what the rules or stipulations are with this, this contest. You know, where would I go? Uh, Probably going to Tesla, uh, hit up like Nordstrom's, which I can't even do any damage there. No, I know what I would do. I would be headed to LA, going to Melrose area, going to Fight Club, dropping some some good money on some sneaks, get some like some rare Jordans, like the, the Jordan 1s or the, the 4s, like all those crazy colorways, um, more Travis Scott's, because I need a lot of those. Anyway, that's that's probably where I would start. Starting off the day, grab what you want. This. I can get that. Uh, no. Mark, you better. That was actually just, just a joke. joke. Oh my gosh, he's got one card, dude. What we're actually gonna do is be responsible and try to set Mark up for his future. Obviously, he's aware a million dollars is a lot, but it's not unlimited money. So we're gonna make smart purchases. Do you, do you see Mark? He's like, yeah, I don't know what you're saying, man. I, I got a million dollars to blow. Come on, I only got so much time. <laughs> I don't think Mark heard a word he just said. Like, like a house, cars, cars and, and do some investing. investing. I need this, this, this. Add that to the yep. Okay, so I'm gonna get this probably for me, you know, splurge a little bit on myself. So here you go, sir. Here are your three pieces. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, two. Give me two. I want a Nintendo Switch. I am so out of date. Gaming systems. We just bought our oldest son an Xbox One. Uh, doesn't even require discs. Like it's all like wireless. I'm sure he would love all of this. Um, that's a lot of money. I, I don't even know what accessories you need, but Mark apparently does, because he's like, I want this, I need this, I got this, come on, bring it. Bring it, Mr. Beast. Switch. Right. Two of us. Whoa, two, two, me two. two. Me two. two. <laughs> just messing, we got a million dollars. Yeah, he's rich, yeah. You have a million dollars. I, I don't believe this is real. It is. Man, this is crazy. This is only a small. I mean, I'm pretty sure like he's maybe spent 20,000 of his a million? Like, you got 24 hours, right? Like, come on, dude. Maybe start moving. 
small percentage of what you have. I don't even know how I'm gonna spend it all. This is unreal. So here are your three MacBooks right here. Three okay. MacBooks. MacBooks. Okay. okay. Seven iPhones. Seven, Seven iPhones. That's insane. That's Whoa. a Series 5. Okay. Two Note 10 Pluses. Of course, the new iPads as well. Wow. Thank you. I don't know how much that was, but it's right there on the counter. Wow. Are these three MacBooks all for you, dude? They are for my wife, my cousin, and my sister's friend. So I really ain't got much for myself, but I do got a lot for them. And I can't wait to see their reactions. All right, Mark, it's time. All right, I like Mark. He's helping the fam out. Give it up, Mark. Okay, I, I would've got myself a MacBook Pro, iMac, a little bit of both iPad, uh, Apple Watch. Time to check out one PlayStation, two PlayStations. Man, this is crazy. I am super grateful for this. I never would have ever imagined in a million years that I would have. <laughs> What's going on with the dude? Go find Mark. Do a little sniff test there, for making sure that no other kids have slobbered on those stuffed animals. I'm not sure what's going on. A million dollars to be spending here. You're gonna make me cry, man. We just started. Save the sob story for later. I like how all y'all just calm like y'all do this all the time. <laughs> so the total is $23,800, which seems like a lot. Okay, I mean, it is a lot. It is. But in comparison to a million dollars, it's not that crazy. And you wild out. You bought everything you could ever want from here. Exactly, and it's not even a frack. Wow. Ice cold! Alright. Oh, we got little amount of time. So we're here at a car dealership. It is like 90 degrees, totally not uh, freezing. Once again, totally curious. First stop Best Buy, now he's at a GMC or a Buick dealership? Okay. Okay, I mean, Tesla, I mean, maybe like Bentley. I mean, okay. I like Mark. And Mark said he wanted to buy some cars. So let's yes. go ball out, Mark. Let's go. All right, All right gosh, it's freezing. I'm cold. I did say, he did say cars as in plural. So that's, we'll see. We'll see what he's got. Here, you still have to spend your 100 grand. I got to finish paying for my first car. I just snot bubbled everywhere. Did you just see it? Oh, look at this. Oh, got the rims. Everybody get in the car. Right? I never in my life would think I would be driving or having something like this. This is crazy. Oh, this is kind of cool. So... If you've been watching the channel for a little bit, you'll, you'll hear the story about the Lou. I used to drive a Chevy Lumina. This is way before uh, going to Iraq and first couple years being a financial planner. But after I got back from Iraq, the first car, I, I guess the new car I ever got was a Chevy Equinox. Hashtag baller, what's up? And drove that for a few years. And finally, the first car that I got that was like my dream car at the time was a Chevy Tahoe. Uh, wasn't even brand new. I think it had like, uh, it was one owner, had like 8,000 miles on it. Uh, but still, like it was my dream car. I love that car. Very similar to what Mark is in right now. They don't have the black rims, respect on that. But uh, I, I just, I'm seeing Mark sit in this Yukon and, and I just remember how I felt when I got in that Tahoe. I'm like, yes, this is my ride. I've got it. I feel good. I, I can relate to Mark right now. I can relate. Enjoy it, Mark. Enjoy it, buddy. Likes the car and obviously it's a massive upgrade. So that's why he's so excited. <laughs> One of the best moments of my life. Except for winning a million, million dollars. dollars. Yeah. <laughs> this car is so nice, yes, Mark. Yes, it is. Let's go buy this one, and you still have one more car you want to yes. buy. How about this car, Mark? Yo, these look like nostrils. You should get them. This is a luxury car. How you much is it? it? Mark, I'm, I'm so... So this car plus the other car is about $100,000 total, right? Yes, it is. Can, can you... So funny, like his dream car is the, uh, the Yukon, and now he's in a Beamer, which if you watch my other videos, we're talking about below minimum wage, the BMW stage. You know, the Beamer was the car I wanted whenever I was in college and broke and still had tons of debt. So it's funny that he went from his dream car and now he's in the car that was my dream car that wasn't my dream car after I realized that, man, I could actually invest in myself and in the markets and start a business and it's gonna give me so much more joy. So just kind of interesting uh, dissection going on here. Can you confirm that? Yes, yes, I did the Okay, so you drove it for only a few minutes. Yes. What are your thoughts? I'm, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> okay. I'm, all I need from you is a signature right here. The vehicles are yours. You better not read it. You're a millionaire. You got time to read. <laughs> what if Mark was like, yeah, how much is this coat rack? <laughs> Two cars, I throw it in for free. You can take it out with you right now. All right. <laughs> take it with you. Right. I love you. We got the rack. We got, we got racks on racks. This is the best dealership ever. So obviously paperwork for buying a car takes a while, so he's gonna come back and finish that later. We're gonna keep shopping. I'm so excited. I'm gonna call my wife and tell her about the new car. I know she's gonna be so happy about it. Babe, I just bought us both two new brand new cars. 
Um, both of them are black. It is super nice, and I think you're gonna love it. You yeah. just bought both of those cars? Yes, I did. Oh my god, wow! <laughs> you're gonna love it. Like, our life really, really just changed. <laughs> That's so much stuff. All right, let's go surprise your family. Yo! Yo! I really do appreciate all y'all. So I went out and I bought out for y'all. Thank you. Good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. <laughs> all right, if I'm being honest, you know, I'll talk more about this later. Like, there is a lot of excitement and joy that I, I, I get seeing this, but also there's like a lot of sadness because this is just, it's just stuff. You know, it's it's phones and it's Xboxes and it's just it's stuff that in like in a year it's going to be obsolete. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really hoping that as this video goes on that there's more than just getting a million dollars, buying junk and and giving it to family members. Like, is there something more that you can give? You know, I love just like experiences and um, not just stuff. Which yeah. Anyway, just mm, mm, I want to see more. I need I need to see more. Come on, Mark, please. Please come through. Out and bought you a PlayStation, man. Here goes a VR. <laughs> I went out and bought you a MacBook. I know that you really wanted an Apple Watch, so I went out and bought you an Apple Watch. <laughs> yeah. I got you an iPad. I've never had one of these before. <laughs> Accidentally bought you a headset. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think also too like they, I, I'm assuming they all know that he just won a million dollars um, and it's like dude you bought me a headset like oh thanks Mark you bought me a $500 Apple watch I mean you know you only just won a million dollars like <laughs> like that's all I get like where's the Rolex too I don't know maybe I'll be a little stingy now Thank you, my God. Rock, paper, scissors, you two for it. Yeah. First off, uh, shake hands and promise you won't uh, hate each other. I'm going to. I will always hate you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> I'm happy for you, bro. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, you're real. I mean, yeah. You're real MVP, man. <laughs> Plus, you excuse us, you have more money than you need. <laughs> Before you can keep spending money, I need to tell them about Honey. Now we're in the mall, you still have like a lot of money left. You haven't even started spending. Go wild. So you got 750 G's left, they're in the mall. Let's see what he does. Let's see what Mark does now. That she has on now, it was cheap. So now I'm gonna actually buy her a real ring. Yeah. Let's do it. We're gonna get Let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna try to get it for her today. This is exactly what she wants. So okay. I think I'm gonna get this one. That's good. Yeah. So Mark dropped 20 thousand dollars out of ring he has to order it so we don't have it yet or anything nice i will say uh, i'm not sure how i afforded this back in the day but i was able to drop a, a good chunk on my wife on her ring uh, this was uh, right before i was deployed to iraq i may have used some credit cards back in the day thankfully the deployment paid it all off but my wife is still grateful she'll, she still wears the same ring so and we're still madly in love so mark your wife is going to appreciate it why did you have to do me like that in front of my wife? She watches these videos. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And in case some of you guys didn't watch this video right here, one of the rules was 10% of the winnings goes to their coach, and Mark's coach was Chandler, so Chandler got 100 grand. So it's time for me to spend my money. I'm gonna get this watch right here. Ooh. How does that look? Nice. Can I see this bracelet? Yeah, you like diamonds, I see. I do. What do you think, Mark? I love it. What do you think? <laughs> well, I'm gonna get this okay. and that watch. $4,234, Chandler. Merry Christmas to me. Thank you, Mark and Jimmy. I love you. Now we're gonna take you to Mark's house and just show you where he lives. So this is where you currently live. Yeah. This is my room. You know, this is where me, my wife sleep. You see, it ain't no room at all. Like You can't even open the door all the way. Right. This is on. Dang, why, why? I hope you're look, you're going house shopping now, like condo shopping, townhouse shopping, something. That's where I would've been first. Some of I've been buying PlayStation stuff. Oh, my little cousin's room. Your little cousin sleeps on an air mattress? Yeah, and it's, he popped it, so it's flat. Your cousin is sleeping on an air mattress that's like has a hole in it, so he's sleeping on the floor. Sure. Can I just say, I'm super glad you won the million dollars. I really am. Thank the you. more you show us around, the more I'm like, thank God <laughs> you won the million dollars. We got the 2001 Toyota Camry. I bought it like that. Oh, dang. How much did you buy it for? <laughs> um, $600. So the current house. Dang. Man, like I talked about my Lou earlier, like his Camry. His Camry makes my Lou look like a, <laughs> like a Bentley. Wow. 
we were just in, which is smaller than the one you just bought. You actually split it in half with another family. Yes. That's crazy. Technically, anybody could use a million dollars, but it's clear that this is really gonna change your life and help you out in a positive way. And I'm glad we could do that for you, man. Even though it's not my money, I'll take the gratitude. <laughs> I'm very grateful, like highly humble and grateful about this whole entire thing. I never experienced anything like this in my life. Show you the cards. Oh, <laughs> GMC for the wife. Oh yeah, oh, you, got that for, you got that for my sister? Yeah. It's mine now. <laughs> Oh, man. I can't believe this is about to be my house. Oh, and wow, this is nice. Chandler, did you find a secret passage? Narnia? <laughs> All right, Chandler, come on. He's not there. Man, I will say this. Like, I, I don't know the whole dynamic between his family and his brother-in-law and stuff, but it does feel like they are a close family. Like, doesn't come from much, but... You know, they're with him during this and you know he's willing to support them and help them out and get them some stuff. So, you know, that is touching to see that family that is close. And what an awesome, awesome experience to win that amount of money. Life changing. This will be big, especially for your wife, you and your sister and maybe your, your cousin. Like how big is this compared to it? Like three times bigger? Everything is like cramped together. Mm -hmm. I have no space. You'll have plenty of room. Come on in everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the new Pate residence. Yeah, I want to start the basement because that's probably like my favorite thing out of the whole thing. So yeah, let's go to the basement. Look at this. Oh, oh, the boys are hanging out. Yeah. Boys only. Man, this is crazy, bro. Man, Man look at you. this house. Stamp it. I want it. Hey, let's go tell the realtor this. Overall. I love the house. I'm definitely gonna get it. This is the one? This is the one. You guys really don't know like where I came from. Like, I'm, I'm like just so, I'm, I'm really, I love to just kind of like behind the scenes, like did they did they already have houses in mind? Did he already know? Um, Cause you know, like just finding a house like that quick in 24 hours. So obviously there had to been some staging to this. This is just more, I'm just curious. I'm sure you're probably curious too. I'm so grateful for everything that the Mr. Beast crew have done for me. Like a week ago, I only have $5 in my bank account. Like I didn't have nothing, really couldn't feed my wife. I couldn't feed my sister, but now I'm able to like provide for my family. So this is like a really, really good experience for me. And genuinely from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you. Aww. Seriously, man, thank you. No problem. I'm, it just makes me happy that- Oh, I don't know anything about the other uh, contestants that were trying to win this million dollars, but yeah, uh, Mark. Mark seemed like the, the, the perfect guy to win this. You're happy. Yeah, I am. I love it. I'd never ever think that I would really have a house like this. And it's all for my family. And that's the most important thing to me. This is a journey and I can't wait to see how far along we get. So we'll get together over the next few days, have you sign everything. Pretty sure you're gonna get this key it's right here. Right. Thank, Thank you. Good. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate you're it. Welcome. Seriously. Just for clarity, how much is this house? It's 165, right? Yep. Okay. Which yeah. is perfectly in the budget. Because we have a million dollars. Well, we're gonna go buy furniture. It smells good in here. Yeah, so this this thing has a, a middle cons. Is Chandler asleep already? Chandler, we've been here for five minutes. My wife is actually not here, so I'm not gonna be able to get stuff for like the living. But so basically, he's not making too many decisions. Smart man, smart man. Um, if I try to pick out furniture, I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> my wife would. Hey babe, yeah. so would you ever trust me to pick out home decor for our house? Negative. Told ya. You picked that out? Are you sure? Like my wife, she does all the home decor in our house. Our house is amazing. Uh, I just, I like to say, I like, to, I fund uh, the home decor. But man, yeah, I, I wouldn't even begin trying to choose unless it was for the man cave. For the man cave, it's all me. Everything else, which is ninety-seven percent of the house, is on her. Good job, Mark. Mark. Mark's a, Mark is a smart man. Decisions without his wife, which is actually a very smart and cute thing. You also have a hundred grand you have to spend today, so. Can I buy this plant? Well, certainly. All right, cool, thank you. Cars, clothes, food for my family. I was able to do that because of Mr. Beast. Please, everybody, subscribe so that he can keep doing videos like this, man. And it could be one of you guys. You'll never know. Mark, you've only spent 36000 so far. That is optional. Uh, a lot of that he still has to get his wife's approval on. For now, we're going to add that to the total. Thirty-six grand. Ever since Mark became a millionaire, he's really got an expensive taste. Yes, I have. <laughs> Jeez. So this size specifically is seven grand. Treat yourself. 
an 82 inch TV. I'm gonna give my family some Christmas presents. Okay. I'm just, wait, where was the 82 inch TV before? Oh, we're back to Best Buy. We need new places. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 13. You're gonna be broke. And see how you can see yourself in that screen? So he's gonna get a G7X and then also this camera right here. So you're gonna have the exact same setup we do, but you do need some tripods. Right. We will literally have a room full of camera batteries because some, some of our videos require 10 cameras. Or that one time we filmed a battle royale. 58, is that what we used to read? We used 58 cameras, so we do our best, guys. Oh, this is a great deal. Double it? Double it. I think I'm good. I got the cameras. Two PCs, some keyboard, mouse, headphones, yep. two TVs. Right. Got the sound bar that sounded like a jet engine coming in here. So Chandler, what'd you get? A lot of Apple products. How much does this come out to? That's about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So so far, twelve thousand of your hundred thousand dollars has been spent. No. Okay, so far, so like sixteen thousand of your hundred thousand dollars has been spent. <laughs> $13,608.93. I want the best refrigerator they got here. I want a talking refrigerator. When I wake up, it's like, good morning, Mark. That's the one. These are my dishwashers right here. <laughs> yes, right here. But not anymore. This is your dishwasher. I think we're good, but one thing I do want to get. Can I get? You don't have to do no, that. No, I want to. Seriously. And he, he wants to so buy me a gallon. Guys. Mark, do you want to tell him what you plan on doing? plan on going to my mother's house, and I'm going to give her $15,000. And then afterwards, you want to also give your mother in law fifteen thousand yes. dollars. I want to give my mother in law fifteen thousand dollars. That's dude. That's dope, man. So I think we're good on purchasing things for today. Now we really need to sit down and talk about taxes. I know a lot of you may be younger, but since he's receiving a million dollars, he does have a large tax bill that we need to talk about. You don't have to pay taxes. I haven't done it ever. You do. So before we go any further, let's break down everything we spent so far. You spent twenty three thousand. Okay, I'm I'm really really glad they do this. Uh, I'm. I, if I've not mentioned this yet, I've not watched one of these videos from Mr. Beast, but uh, you know, like you get a million dollars, you just don't get spend a million dollars. Like there is this thing called taxes. Um, so the fact they're actually sitting down explaining this to him and to everybody watching, this is good. I feel like it's Mr. Beast is like the Mr. Rogers of YouTube in a way. $8,000 at Best Buy, $28,000 on a wedding ring, $100,000 on cars, $165,000 on a house, $30,000 on furniture, and $30,000 on appliances. So, so far we spent $368,000 on material things. $15,000 for the closing cost of your house, $20,000 for utilities, bills, just random things that go wrong. And you've given away $30,000, $15,000 to your mom, and then the $15,000 you told me you want to give to your mother-in-law. So Chandler won $100,000. That was a predetermined rule before the million dollar challenge. The coach of the contestant got $100,000. And then also also, during the last to stop biking video, you said this. If you win the million dollars, you want to give him 50 grand? Yes, I want to give him 50 grand. Aww. Basically, you promised Jeremy $50,000. Yes, I did. And that brings your total up to $583,000. So now this one's gonna work. get a little more serious because obviously Mark needs to set aside money for taxes and also do some investing. <laughs> So Mark didn't actually receive all a million because he gave Chandler 100,000 and Jeremy 50,000. So what he got is $850,000. So Mark wants to set aside $340,000, basically 40%, just to make sure all his tax liabilities are covered. But now let's talk about Chandler. You spent 16,000 at Best Buy and $44,000 on bills. So you spent 60, so you said, <laughs> you spent 60 grand. Jeremy spent $30,000 and then set aside 20 grand for taxes. So that's another 50,000. So that is exactly where 923,000 of the million dollars went. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible because I know a lot of you won't believe me that I gave away a million dollars, but I'm literally showing you right here. We did. You really did. You have 77 grand left. I know you talked about wanting to maybe invest 50K and then set aside like the other 23 for just other little nuances here and there. And to be 100% honest, we went into an investing firm and they told us we couldn't record. So you'll have to meet with the financial expert on your own. I Lame, but I get it. Being a former financial planner. Yeah, I, I get it. But Hey, Mr. Beast, if you want to come record me ex giving some advice to your people, I, I would do it. My offer. I really wanted to show you guys where all the money went. I'm gonna just close that's, this. That's a million dollars. That's gone. where the million In dollars went. Mark, it's crazy that all of this happened because you put your hand on a million dollars and you were the last to take it off. One of my goals for this video was just to make sure you don't get screwed over. Like, I genuinely think you will do fine. Oh, Mr. Beast, I mean, this is what we call YouTube entertainment right here. And I don't wanna knock this guy at all. I mean, this guy has done some amazing things. He's done some awesome fundraisers. I mean, Give him credit. I mean, the guy has done a lot. But when I've watched this video and in full transparency, this is actually the next day, the day after I watched the video, I just kind of had to take some time 
to really think about what you know what I watched and you know seeing Mark and seeing his family and just seeing where he was coming from I mean this is truly I mean this is truly God's blessing coming into his life and the fact that now he has a house that can uh, that his, his family can live in he has nice cars that he can drive I mean a lot of amazing things but the part that really just that got to me is that when you look at all this money that he just got and on a few different instances, you know, Mr. Beast talked about investing. And do some investing. And how Mark needs to invest. And after all said and done, I think he had like 75,000 left over, you know, 50 of that he was going to invest, other was gonna be in the savings. Oh, it just, it, it just, it hurts me because we just dropped all this money on material stuff. And now we've got $50,000 left to invest after winning a million dollars or 850,000 minus the coaching fee and the 50,000 he gave to the other, uh, the other contestant. So just a few things to consider, you know, I don't know how this all went down. I'm not sure when he got the money. You know, I love the fact that they did some educational part, you know, of the tax side. So we took $340,000 and stuck that away for taxes. Now, I don't know when Mark has to pay, you know, this tax, does he have to do it April 15th? Can he file an extension? So is that money just sitting nowhere? Because, you know, if you went out and opened a high yield savings account using Marcus Goldman Sachs as an example, currently paying 1.7%, in if he held that say for nine months, he would accrue almost $4,200 in interest. Even at just six months, you're looking at about $2,800. So, I mean, there's anywhere from three to $4,000 left over that there's no risk with that. Just put that in the high yield savings, earn the interest, and whenever the IRS says, hey, okay, it's time to pay, then you pay, but you don't have to just stick it somewhere or nowhere and not earn some interest on that money. The other part that just really gets me, like I'm, I'm cool with the 23,000 at Best Buy, I'm cool with the $20,000 wedding ring, um, but the, the cars for 100,000 and even the house for 165, and you can go, different ways with that. Like, yeah, there's peace of mind paying that off, but man, like had we actually invested that money and, and made some interest, I mean, it's just, oh, that's the part that just, oh. And just to kind of give you some numbers. So let's just say, for example, that he took half a million dollars and he invested that into the S&P 500. At the beginning of 2019, the S&P returned 30% not including dividend reinvestment. So he could have made $150,000. So, you know, would have had 650,000 left over. Yes, there's some taxes there, but $150,000 gain that he could have then paid the cars, paid all that cash or paid for the house. And you still got the $500,000 left. Or let's say he took that $500,000 and invested it into some dividend stock income strategy where he's making on average three and a half, maybe 4% just on dividends. I mean, he could have $20,000 of income, of recurring income every year that would have paid all for the best buy, would have paid for the ring just from the dividends alone. So it's just looking at those types of things. And I get it, like Mark does not come from an investment background or a savings background. So the fact that he even has money left over, I mean, that probably is a good thing because most people win the lotto and they go broke like in a year or two. But I mean, here's an example. I mean, he's got $75,000 left over. So chances are he could be broke in the next six months to a year if he doesn't play his cards right. All right, now to the hook that I mentioned at the beginning of this video where I had a similar event like Mark where I came across a big chunk of money. Can't give you really all the details of what happened. Essentially I had a liquidity event and I was able to walk away with 1.5, you. Yeah. 1.5 million, that is correct. And I've actually had this money for a good amount of time. And comparing what I did to what Mark did, I think you actually might be pretty shocked, maybe not. So I took the 350, $400,000, put that away for taxes. Uh, I did put that in a high yield savings account. The other $150,000 went straight to our church. That was our 10% tithe, uh, went towards that. Everything else, has been sitting in cash, has been sitting in a high yield savings ever since. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, so that, that's what's going on there. And why is that? Well, there's some other reasons behind that where I did want that liquidity. I didn't wanna have that tied up in the market until some a few other things kind of worked out. 
Either way, I mean, obviously sharing that the S&P was up 30%, uh, 2019, I mean, could have walked away with $300,000, you know, in gains, but you know, I, I got my 1.8, 1.9% return on my high yield savings. Nonetheless, though, uh, that is some of the money I'll be using for the uh, Grow Your Dough Throwdown that I talked about in a previous video. Uh, I have some more details about that. But for me, I know like my biggest advice for people that inherit or win a big chunk of money is that for the first three months, six months, even a year, you don't do anything with it. I don't care. I mean, unless you got a small credit card debt that's, you know, you're paying 24% interest on, but I mean, just sit on it. Think about it. If you have, you know, any spiritual background, pray about it, uh, meditate on it, whatever that is. And uh, that's just something I've always, I've learned. I've seen that working with other clients, seeing other instances of like Mark, where it, either it was an inheritance, uh, had an individual win the lotto, they won like $3 million. And, you know, they started giving money away to family and friends and buying cars and it goes quick. It goes quick. I've seen it. Um, so that's just one thing for me. I always just want to sit, you know, and usually six months at a minimum. You know, if you are older, maybe you have a better perspective, you're like 20 some years old and you'll win a, a million dollars. You might want to sit on for a year because uh, you want that money to be around. So anyway, I would share that. I just want to share that with you. I might have more details on a future video if I can release some of those details, but uh, it was just kind of fun to see, you know, how after 24 hours, Mark's, all his money's pretty much gone. And whereas over a year later, I've got all mine left. Could have more if I would have invested it, which I'm going to do right now. Uh, but yeah, just thought I would share that with you and all that. And by the way, if you have any connections with Mr. Beast and for future winners, if they want an investment guy to sit down with them, let him know. Like I would love to help these people invest and show them that they could take this money, uh, invest in the market, invest into dividend paying investments to where now they're earning an income, then, then they can go to Best Buy and instead of blowing their principal, they're just spending their, their income. I mean, that, that would be so much more fun. But then again, that's not YouTube entertainment, aren't y'all? Hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any other recommendations for other reaction videos you wanna see, let me know. This is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and all you can make it awesome. Until next time, peace.